All right, kid, you made it. So I totally forgot my uh, my camera um, in the office. So uh, basically, what we're doing this morning is going to be a uh, a replication a repli replication. Gosh, it's so early in the morning. Uh, it's basically um, going to be slow reps, and it's uh, based on the work of a gentleman by the name of Dr. Doug McGuff. So essentially, what we're doing is we are stimulating the muscles by using very slow movement. The beautiful thing about it is, is you can start really light. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're picking a machine and you can go, um, instead of doing like, you know, like one, two, three, four, five, like reps like that, what you're essentially doing is doing one rep, but you're literally doing as slow as possible, controlling the muscle as much as possible. And you're doing anything from like a 20 to maybe like a 30 count in one direction and like a 20 to a 30 count in the other direction. And what we're doing is, is we're using a principle by the name of time under tension okay time under tension um it's beautiful because it is very light on the joints however the workload that you can put under the muscle load um or the muscle itself uh can be pretty big uh can be pretty huge and it sends a direct stimulus um, because all that energy now is just focused solely on the muscle that's how you know you love your kids right here gotta polish the kneecap and then <laughs> There's Graham Reens. There's a couple of canoes right there. Look at that thing. Nice, bud. Yeah, all right, PJ. Okay, because now I just need to let you know my dad screwed up and he didn't make the green light. So now school starts at 6.53 and I only have one minute to sit on my phone. And relax. Hey, watch your mouth, young man. Sit in my booty. All of you. Alright. Well, anyway, he's drinking this stuff. This you may think rocket it's coffee. Fuel. Rocket fuel. Basically, I'm rocket Avenue. You, I'm going to take you straight up because, sir, you have like literally a minute and change. So, you said there a minute go. and change. I'm going to go ahead and swing in this way inside these cones because, you know, that's how we do. Alright, kid. Hey, I love you, dude. Have a good day, yeah? You too. Good luck with your content. Thanks, love. So I'm super stoked that I got uh, to work out, you know, with my boy today. Um, he had finals week or whatever, so yeah, man, typical day. One thing I really like to do, if and where possible, is two things in and around lunch. One is I really like picking and finding a lot of different places that I can absolutely stuff my face with that allow me to control my blood sugar really, really easily. Um, you know, this is everything from like, like protein burgers, uh, even like Mexican food, right? Like, you know, tacos and burritos naturally hold, you know, the tortillas or whatever, um, you know, but feel free to get down on like, you know, some of those clean proteins. Um, sometimes what I'll also do is I'll pick up some produce, you know, I'll pick up anything from like, you know, arugula, um, some some kale. The cool thing is, is uh, you know, the office here, um, they actually have like a kitchenette, you know, so it allows me now to actually like bring some of my own ingredients, if you will, and I can go ahead and just, you know, make myself something really quick. Also, you know, uh, making food at home and prepping, I actually packed my wife a really cool lunch today, um, kind of protein based, if you will. She's trying to clean it up. And so I'm really proud of her. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the funny thing is, is I like doing what I call um, you know, winners for dinners. And basically what that is, is every single time we find like these awesome foods or whatever that work well with our blood sugar, I usually stick those guys a whole bunch of them in my back pocket and I start having those for dinner, you know? And the reason why is because, you know, once you have like these foods that work extremely well with your blood sugar, um, you, we, it gives us the whole rest of the day to start playing with other stuff. And the next thing you know, before you know it, usually just by doing that stuff alone, you'll usually have like this whole like library, if you will, of foods. Um, that work well with your blood sugar and even you know if you're like testing and trying new things um, you know and obviously like nobody has to be totally perfect or whatever um, but even if it's just like a 50 50 game you know um, or even if it's like you know a 60 40 game where like you know 60 percent of the time it's off and you know, only 40 percent of the time that you're finding something that works well the cool thing is, is you know over time is all if all we ever did was stick those monkeys in our back pocket right and give ourselves the whole rest of the day I mean, you know, like play with more foods or you try different things. 
cool part about it is, is like even if we have, like let's say these are the hours of the day, right? So even if we like have something that's over here that you know, like bumps the blood sugar, you know, as long as we have the whole rest of the day, you know, go ahead and burn that off, whether we're like at work or, um, you know, going for a walk or, you know, we, we get home and then, you know, like maybe even hit the gym on the way home or whatever it is, right? Or even just go for a walk at the house, um, you know, there's always, there's always ways to easily bring down that overall average. So anyways, uh, let's get back to work. So I haven't been on social for a minute, but basically here's what I'm having for dinner. Um, ribeye, some salmon patties from Costco, and some arugula and avocado salad. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, it's been a while since I've gotten any decent sleep. Uh, if you've been listening to the podcast or whatever, super, super down on sleep. Um, but today's one of those mornings where I'm just like, you know what, man, I gotta get in there. Um, it's goofy as it sounds, my dog, God bless Chloe. Chloe. But um, dude, at like four o'clock in the morning, she rolls, she thinks she's like a two pound puppy still, rolls onto me like a bloody potato sack and I've been up ever since. So um, being that it's just been crazy at work and I have one of those brains where you might be like me where if something wakes you up and then your brain turns on and you start thinking about anything from like, you know, like it can be anything from like food to like a YouTube video to work to your family, what you gotta do that day, bills, whatever it is, all of a sudden the minute your brain turns on, like you can't go back to sleep. So that's basically what I'm having here today. Um, the good news is, is man, like it's been a minute since I've actually gotten like an early, early workout. Um, and on the weekend, um, don't have all the rest in the world. However, um, I'm, I've only been like averaging for a while now, only like three, four hours of sleep. Uh, I think last night I got like maybe like five, closer to six. So uh, hopefully it turns out well and uh, yeah, let's get to work. Day, I'm probably gonna slip. Well, actually, pretty soon I'll probably slip or one of these times, but we gotta try this place. Brooksy, Brooksy, Rude of course. That place is gangster. See, I did want to eat at the filling station, however, we're going somewhere else today. You know, you gotta look, totally love like the old school architecture, babes. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Cape. Cape. The monkey's learning Tagalog. Too big. <laughs> Gotta love the antiques. Alright, what 
do we got here? We got Wahoo fish tacos. Gotta love some fish tacos. What else do we got? <laughs> buttermilk fried chicken. Buttermilk. Dude, buttermilk fried chicken sounds so good right now. All right, and we are going to snooze. Let's do this. First letter in Hangman is gonna be a E. Start adding. I didn't need this last night. Monkey. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I did need that last night. You did need the last uh, one? Yes. Don't ever keep adding and taking I'm them not back. Take the letters. Monkey. I don't know how to spell it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, well, I don't know if it's something. Build a bomb. Never worry, you guess you got that one from. <laughs> Stokes. And then to the babes. Dude, so the rule was this is supposed to be something in English. So I picked this. It's technically English because it's on the menu, I guess. And she gives me hot chocolate in a foreign language. So I told her. She's a monkey, and she says, I'm a weirdo. All right, so here's dinner. Uh, basically, he's gonna have a ribeye. Uh, ribeye, I'm having a ribeye, and then some, uh, this is steamed broccoli with some Alfredo sauce. You can obviously see the fresh garlic right here. Um, and then some uh, freshly grated uh, Parmesan. All righty, down the hatch. So mommy love her. He's gonna get a bath today.